Good morning. I am hosting Coffee with Bob today. Dr. Long is away and he's working on the Advent Sermon Series. Advent is right around the corner. Now this morning I'm drinking out of a special china cup um, rather than a mug that I typically use. This particular china cup is very similar to one of the china cups that I saw my grandmother and grandfather drinking their strong black coffee from all the years that uh, I was growing up. All those years, all the times I saw them drinking coffee, I don't think I ever remember them drinking from a mug. It was all, always a cup and saucer. Now this particular a cup is from a china set given to me by my grandparents after they passed away. It had been a few years uh, before they passed away that I was visiting and my grandmother took me aside and she told me of a special china set she had for me. She had put it away and set it aside and that I would receive it someday when she passed away. Now, I actually don't think they ever used this china. Um, my grandmother was known for having several china sets. I think she had at least uh, five, six china sets, and I don't recall them ever using this one. And I think it's because it was set back and set aside. But even though they never used this set, there are three very special reasons why it's so meaningful to me. First is that it does remind me of the the cups they would drink coffee from. And that was such a, uh, an important memory for me, getting to see them in the mornings or in the evenings drinking coffee. Second is the name of this china. Now, you can see it's um, a pretty little rose pattern. And the name of this pattern is called Rose Garden. And you can see uh, the pink roses um, as part of the pattern. And I'm just a little sentimental. My daughter's middle name is Rose. And so I thought it was extra special that this gift from my grandparents was named in a way that I could connect to my daughter. But third is that my grandmother intentionally meant this gift for me. And she told me a special story behind it. She told me that day when she told me that I was going to get the china, that one evening my grandfather was out playing poker and on the way home, he bought her a set of china. This china came from a poker game that my grandfather was playing. Now, I don't know if my grandpa was losing and so he stopped and bought a china set on his way home to kind of appease my grandmother or maybe he was winning and out of his excitement and uh, celebration, he stopped on the way home and bought a china set for my grandmother. But either way, my grandfather was out playing poker and on the way home, he bought china for my grandmother. Now this is a pretty pattern, but it's really ordinary china, but it's made extraordinary for me because my grandmother had thought about me and told me this, this fun story behind it. We're coming upon the gift given, gift giving season. And this year, really be thoughtful. Don't give your loved ones and your friends just stuff. Be intentional to give them something maybe practical that will bless their lives or give them something that will evoke a special memory or be a part of creating new memories. My grandmother knew me well enough to, knew, to know that I would enjoy a china set, but she knew me well enough to know that I would love a china set with a special memory attached to it. This year, when you go Christmas shopping, be thoughtful to the people you're buying gifts for. Make sure your gifts show your love in what you buy.